Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be covering the blueprints I use as a solo player. So hopefully you find this helpful. This is something that's been getting requested a lot in my community. So here we go. So as a solo player, I'm always thinking like two, three tiers ahead. Especially as someone who's played from beta week one right through. So I kind of know what I need. Uh, so hopefully... Some of these can be transferable to you if you're a solo player or you're a group player. But if you're a group player, this might vary completely in uh, uh, some ways for you because this is purely for a solo solo player's perspective and an experienced player's perspective. So let's get into it. So obviously, uh, you automatically start with the stone pile and the wood pile to get them out the way along with the... You want to be having the axe, the pickaxe, the stone knife, and then you want to get the bone knife. Just the, simply the bone knife is easy to get once you start killing animals. It's easy to craft. And then you want to go bone sickle. Now the bone sickle is something I keep throughout the game. I actually don't go iron. I think iron's a waste of a, a blueprint point. I get the fire whacker primarily just for early game, just in case. Um... You know, that could that can be something that can uh, save you from uh, having to restart uh, your build. Campfire, obviously, for cooking. And you need somewhere to have a, uh, a fire next to you to lie down and go to sleep. And, of course, your bedroll. I think I've only unlocked the fire pit once. Uh, that's probably more for a, uh, an outpost uh, these days, to be honest. And next is the wood rag torch. So this is handy for caves and if you're running around the night time. So I miss out the wood torches and the floor torch completely because I find these unnecessary as a solo player. So you're saving blueprint points there. Now onto the uh, repair hammer. This is the only repair hammer I use. I don't use any other repair hammer in the game. And I do not use the build and upgrade tool. This is many discussions I've had with uh, viewers in my live streams and stuff like that. Uh, why don't you use the upgrade tool? It's easier. Trust me. For the time it takes to pull down a small structure and replace it with something, it's a blueprint wasted if you ask me. But if you really want to, you can. But personally, I find it quicker just to quickly delete something and place the object down. But, you know, everybody's different. Uh, that one, if you want, unlock it. But I still think it's a waste. It's only useful if you've got a massive build, in my opinion. Okay, so now onto the bow. Stone arrow and bone arrow. That is it regarding arrows for me. I never go past bone arrow. Um, and I spec into the uh, bow, bow tree uh, as well. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Um, I love the bow. And there I go, uh, basic bandage and suture kits. These are handy, uh, especially when you're going up against harder animals, say like a bear, polar bear, or the arctic wolves or something like that. Uh, these do become very handy. So, moving along now. I find the heat bandage uh, useless. Uh, you know, I know some people who uh, swear on them. Personally, I, I don't find them uh, very helpful. Splint, I've only had to use a splint twice during all the way from beta 1 right through to uh, present launch day. So yeah, I'm not unlocking that. The pastes, I've used these in the past but for the purpose of this video I'm going to keep them locked off because I just don't find them helpful. Okay, so a small wood crate, what I generally do is just unlock this and craft two of them instead of using an R blueprint for the medium wood crate. Oxidizer I leave locked off. It's absolutely pointless of uh, unlocking this. So as you can just put oxide in your chest piece and uh, and just feed yourself oxygen that way until we get onto another item later in the video. So now the cloth armor is now changed. You do not need to craft it. Uh, you don't need the textiles bench for this no longer. You just have to unlock it and you can craft it on your body. And so cloth armor is always a must for me. Uh, water bombs are new. So, and they're still coming soon. Don't touch them. Um, rope. Don't uh, touch uh, this either. Uh, these are like for special talents, which personally I don't use. I find them a waste. Okay, so 
this is where a lot of new players are going to go wrong and I still see some experienced players go wrong here. They, they'll go level 5 thatch or whatever. Yeah. Um. So do not get thatch guys. It's an absolute waste. Wait until you get to level 5. Okay. And craft and unlock wood. Do not get thatch. It's an absolute waste of blueprints. Honestly, this will soak up a lot of uh, major blueprint points you're going to need for later game. So what you do need to do is a level, just hide in a uh, rock. Dig a hole in the rock um, and just hide in there and ride the night out if you have to. For the sake of one night. Um, and then once you get level 5, unlock your wood. Uh, beam, your wood floor, your wood wall, your wood roof ramp, your window, your wood wall angled, and your wooden door. That is all you need. The rest of the wooden items are just fluff. You do not need them. So, as long do just do not unlock any thatch. It, it's going to make your life a misery, trust me. Uh, the last time I used thatch was in beta week one. Okay, so tier two. Now, it depends on your. This is going to depend on your play style, even as a solo player. So obviously, you have the crafting bench. You need. This is the oxide dissolver. Now, this is what you're going to start using for your uh, your oxygen. So you're going to need an oxygen bladder. Okay. So also a fireplace. So you'll remove the need for a campfire. Stone furnace, anvil, iron axe, pickaxe. Iron Knife, Iron Spear. Now the Iron Spear is very situational, so this is what I roll with just for certain missions like Extermination Missions. But, you know, it really depends on your playstyle, that one. Now, the Icebox is just something for later down the road for harder missions. So, I've got this just as a precaution. Now, the Shovel, you could technically go with the Shovel if you want. It's only useful for the Arctic biome uh, to remove snow off the roof or uh, digging up snow to put ice in your ice box. but you can easily just pick up snow manually by your hands. But you also, this is handy for removing snow off angled uh, roofs and stuff like that. But it's, eh, I wouldn't say it was like a hard must, but it, it, you know, it, it, if you've got a spare blueprint point going, uh, yeah, sure. So this is the iron sickle I was telling you about. You pretty much uh, don't need this. Um, you, the bone one you can just keep. You can replace easily with bones. So yeah, um, you can save yourself some iron and a blueprint point there. So all of these along here, I pretty much don't unlock. You can go crossbow. The crossbow is actually pretty damn good. Uh, I think it's really underrated along with the copper bolt. Um, again, if you want to test these out, go for it. Um, it's not really going to dramatically affect your blueprint uh, acquisition here. Um, cooking station, which is brand new. I've actually just released a video on that yesterday. If you want to go and check that out. So this is like a hard must now. Cooking station to uh, being re introduced on the release of Icarus. So this can give you significant buffs, which will help you early game until you get another item, which I'll get into shortly. So now the mortar and petrol is a must because you need the flower, the epoxy, uh, the crushed bone will help you a lot as well if you're uh, sitting on a lot of bone. Poison paste, this is one, it can go either way. Either you like it or you hate it. Personally, I think it's all right, so I go with the uh, unlock there. Now down, be down below here, we've got the longbow. Now, if remember what I said about TR1, I only use the bone arrows. So, I used the longbow with the bone arrows for the foreseeable future. Now, once you get into level 20 and stuff like that, you will unlock the gunpowder, the carbon paste, and the steel bloom. Now, the carbon paste is one of them. If you unlock this, you're going to probably go for the carbon fiber armor. So, keep that in mind. If you don't want the carbon fiber armor, don't unlock this. You're going to need the steel bloom as this is what you make steel with. Now, down below we've got another new addition which came in beta weekend 7 I believe. 
is the lightning rod. Now, this can help you early game as well, with, if you've still got a wooden structure. Is you can place the lightning rod on top of your structure and it's uh, one or two hits and it's broken, but it will stop your wooden structure from burning down. So the lantern, this got a major buff in beta weekend five or six. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, this got a major buff. So you can now use this and it lights up a cave really nicely. So highly recommended. Get this. Leather curtains don't. Just don't. I'm not. Yeah, don't. <laughs> um, so now the herbalism bench. This is a really nice thing to have and it's going to help you. You can make, make these uh, anti-poison tonics. So this is where the poison paste falls into play again, which I've just discussed. You can use this, so especially more so now in caves where there's cave worms. So this does help if you get uh, quite a few poisons stacked on you. So just below that, we have the textiles bench. Now you're going to need this, uh, especially early game and uh, late game. Uh, because you get the, now get the leather backpack, which got actually introduced at like uh, just after the launch of uh, the release candidate for Icarus. So yeah, and this is what you craft your armors on. You used to be able to craft the cloth armor on here, but you don't have to use the textiles bench now. Now, I skip the leather armor. Not a fan of it. I think I personally, uh, yeah, I just don't like it. I, I find it useless personally. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, you can actually unlock the, the parasitic uh, tonics if you want and the antibiotic. These two is kind of a 50-50, but all of these here, I don't um, bother with. All of these pastes here, flatbread, don't unlock that either. It's absolutely useless. Okay, so fur armor, you are wanting to unlock this here. These are hard musts for the Arctic. 100% you need the fur armor. Okay, so ghillie suit, personally, I find it useless. Uh, don't I don't use it, um, and I have no issues playing the game without it. Uh, if you really want to, you can, but like I say, it's, uh, it, it, it's just like basically a tier 1 hunter set. Alright, going along now. So if you want a bit of fluff and a bit of a more... Uh, shown off. You can go for the polar bear armor. This is actually really smart armor. Uh, I've got a video on it uh, uh, in the beacon video I done with me wearing this. Really nice uh, set. You do get some really uh, chunky uh, bonuses with it. But yeah, uh, this is kind of a 50 50 one again. You can either have it or you don't. It's not the end of the world if you don't have it. Now, all the carpentry set up here, like, uh, you know, like wooden beds and stuff like that, never bothered with it. This is more for the outposts kind of thing if you want to really um, RP the hell out of your base. Okay. And that goes with these interiors. Yeah, the last time I used interior stuff was beta week one, unfortunately, because it actually does look nice, but it's a waste of blueprint points as I'm taking this from a solo player's perspective. Okay, so the masonry bench is 100% you must have. Uh, this is where you're going to start building all of your stone stuff. So these are all level 15 items, these ones. So what you want here from the masonry bench is the stone frame, the stone beam, the stone floor, the stone wall, the stone roof slash ramp, and the stone half wall angled and the reinforced door. Now, you can live without everything else here. Yeah. You do not need to unlock anything else here. Yeah. You can save yourself tons of blueprints uh, points if you want to just give these a hard miss. But these are the must-have uh, stone pieces. Okay, so scooting along to tier 3 now. So I've got a few additions here, uh, so I will be honest with a few of the items uh, which I haven't tested yet, but I think will be a big benefit. So first of all, you'll get the machine and bench at tier 3 when you hit level 20, so you will unlock this. Now I've gone with the basic wall light, this is a new addition to the release candidate for Icarus. Um, basically, it's, it's a light. Um, you could probably uh, stay with um, wall torches, to be honest. 
Uh, it's really down to you. So I can't really give an opinion on this, but I've unlocked it because, you know, it's a light and anything uh, with a bigger light radius potentially is a win for me. Anyways, now with the, like, foresight, I unlocked electronics, which I don't usually do, but I had a feel, I've been saying it since beta weekend 2, when I built the humidifier, that electronics at some point would get a hard nerf. And I woke up this morning, and they've been hard nerfed. So now electronics are a hell of a lot cheaper. These are so cheap now. It's unreal. So, yes, you will want to get electronics. We'll get into that in a little bit. You will need the concrete furnace 100%. This concrete furnace can cook every single ore in the game. Okay. Next is canteen. You've got to unlock the canteen to get to the thermos at level 25, which you now make all of the high tier drinks in the game, which got introduced on the release of Icarus' uh, main release. And uh, down below, we have the cement mixer. So it does what it says on the tin. It creates cement. Uh, this is pretty much guaranteed if you want uh, some really good items, uh, which I'll get into shortly. So, in the biofuel drill, this is a hard must also. As you will need this for missions and uh, probably getting exotics in the future. Oh, I did miss something here. Um, I will probably unlock the fish trap when it finally gets uh, released. And binoculars as a solo player will probably be a hard must also. So, you might want to get them. Going along... You can either stick with the tier 2 um, pastes, or you can upgrade to the pills. Um, the pills just are more potency, so if anything, I'd go with the antibiotic and the poison to play it safe. So, I love the cooking in this game, so a oh, hard must is kitchen bench and biofuel stove, along with bread dough. To create loaves of bread along with buried jam these are really good um items this is a really good these two here are very good foods so below what i will say about the platinum tools is they have a lot of durability on them um so if you're saving up your credits in the workshop to buy a higher tr exotics i'd recommend focusing on getting yourself um, a platinum pickaxe and a platinum axe at least. The rest you don't really need. So scooting along now. The recurve bow is a hard must if, if for a solo player. It's a really good bow. And it's um, yeah, it, it, it ju it's just so nice. Uh, the, the rate of fire, everything on it. But like I said before, I don't go with the aluminium or the carbon arrows. I'm sticking with... Uh, bone it's always worked for me so now that the smoke and frag grenades are um, released once on my main game I will uh, actually be unlocking the smoke grenade so yeah I haven't tested it so a smoke grenade will be a hard yes for me now we're moving along to the biofuel stuff biofuel composter is a hard must because you need it to fuel the biofuel can, which you also need it to uh, use certain other items like the biofuel stove. Because you put the biofuel can in the biofuel stove, and I've just actually noticed it's called biofuel stove, now it used to be called gas stove. Um, so yeah, you put that in there and the fuels actually can cook the higher tier food. So moving along now, you've got the biofuel lamp. Never used it, but... I guess, but um, the lantern from uh, tier 2 is probably more sufficient. So now you will need a hard yes on the oxygen tank. This is a must. If you've got the one from the uh, exotic workshop, fair deals. But if you haven't, unlock this and it lasts a long time. Next up is the de de dehumidifier. Now... This used to be useful in the betas if you had the time to grind it out along with um, where you were able to live in caves in the beta. Now that there's worms in the caves, um, I, I think this is a hard pass. Fire extinguisher, 
this is only useful if you've got a massive wooden base, to be honest. Uh, so that's a hard pass. Metal Oxide Dissolver, don't really see the use of it uh, personally. Um, you know, unless you've got a big group of players who need to uh, have the oxygen bottles and stuff need to be replenished. All right, scooting along now. Doing a hard pass on the pistol and the um, bolt action rifle. But the, the sad thing is... You can go shotgun, which is perfectly fine uh, for short range, and it'll help you out in the uh, short term. But you have to unlock the bolt action rifle. Do not craft this, though, guys. Honestly, do not craft it. You have to unlock it to get the rifle round, though. So you've got to waste a blueprint here to gain the rifle round here. But if you want to go shotgun and buckshot shell, fair dues, but pistol... Uh, the reload time on the pistol and the bolt action rifle are not worth it uh, to craft. So, moving on. So, to create jam, you're going to need a glass jar, which I've just touched on further along there. Uh, you're going to need the glass workbench. So, you're going to unlock this. Now, some people like the beer and the wine. Personally, I don't touch them. So, I go glass workbench, glass jar. Now, dependent... Uh, this is really depending on if you want your character to be building in outposts as well. Because glass does look nice, but I find it absolutely useless if you're on a mission. Now, he has a new one. It's the Hunter set. This is for hunting. I will be unlocking this myself. Um, as it's so good just for um, like uh, stealthing up on animals. So, as a solo player, I'd say a hard yes for the Hunter set. Now, going along, again, this is going to be depending on if you want to play an outpost or just focus on missions. The concrete set, which you unlock at level 25, is 50-50. Uh, personally, I don't touch concrete, but again, it's very dependent on you and what you plan on doing in outposts. But bear in mind, this will like severely affect your blueprints. So, I completely skip aluminium. I actually done a very early video on this when uh, I first got to check it out in the early betas. Um, it looks okay, but it's not very useful. Um, okay. Moving along to tier 4. Now, tier 4 is a hard I want to explain as it's new to everybody. Um, so, you're going to get the fabricator... Now, I'm just going to go by what I'm personally going to do with TF4. Is I'm going to go flashlight. I'm going to be bypassing the... Then again, I could probably... I will probably do the pickaxe and the the uh, the axe. And the combat knife. But after that, I'm going to be going straight for hunting rifle. Remember, this is the rifle you want. Do not craft the bolt action rifle, guys. It's not worth it. Seriously, it's not worth your time. I'm going to go compound bow, but remaining with the uh, bone arrow. And then we've got the composite chest uh, piece. Probably not going to do it unless the very end missions are ridiculously hard and I feel like it's warranted. So, what we're going to go to next is yes for the portable beacon, radar, and extractor. These are three hard yeses. I've got a video on the uh, portable beacon from Beta Weekend 4, I believe it was. Um, you're going to need the radar uh, just to open up the map along with, along with the extractor. This is for getting um, exotics out of the ground. So, moving along. You've got the biofuel generator. This is going to be a hard yes because you're going to need the electricity to uh, power the furnace and all of that good stuff here. You've got the electricity tool, which is a wiring. Now, another hard yes is the material processor. This is 100% yes um, because you're going to get so many more resources from it. Composite paste. This is only really useful if you want to uh, be in making composites. So anything with uh, the composites in it, you're going to need the composite paste. So like the solar panels and the work lamps. So the work lamps are going to be handy, but again, as a solo player, 
um, you've got to think about is your lantern good enough or whatever like that. But these might be useful for like really like nighttime missions or something like that. Okay. The water pumps got no comment. I'll probably will be unlocking them because I'm a big farming nerd. Um, got the chemistry bench. I honestly, I have no um, input on these whatsoever. As you can see, these are still looking like pretty much work in progress. But we've got the electric composter here. I'd have to see how efficient that was before um, I can make a judgment on it. And we've got the electrical masonry bench and stuff like that. So them, I cannot give my opinion on because they are... Um, yeah, I haven't touched them. But I will probably be unlocking anything to do with workbenches like that. I will be unlocking. But yeah, we've got the refrigerator here. I probably will get that in the future. Um, air conditioners are new. And uh, the heaters, these are... These are probably really good must-haves for the Arctic and the desert biomes, so I'd recommend them. So again, the dehumidifier is just going to be a hard pass for me. Uh, I've got no interest. So that is how I approach the blueprints and how I personally uh, go about things as a solo player. Um, I put a lot of thinking into these. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I miss out which might actually benefit me, but in the long run, this is what uh, served me well through seven betas, and it seems to be serving me well so far. Anyways, if you found this helpful, guys, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. One last thing, I will leave a link in the pinned comment to... IcarusBuild.app. It's a fantastic website. You can map out your talents right there on that website without it in impacting on your game. And you can check everything and it's updated to all the latest stuff, I believe. So you can go and check out all your builds and talents there before you even consider wasting any points in game. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, see you in the next video.